Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I'll show you the step-by-step -step method of converting a PDF into a DWG file, a DWG file into a PDF, and also the method of encrypting and password protecting the PDF drawings using a software called PDF Agile. So let's get started. All right, so let's start with the very first step, which is converting a PDF into DWG file. Now, as you can see, I have AutoCAD here, and of course, I'm not gonna be using AutoCAD for converting the file. Instead, I'll use the PDF Agile software directly. Now, to do that, I'll just go to this folder right here. And in this folder, as you can see, I have a couple of PDF files. Now, the one which I'll use here is House Plan Monochrome. By the way, you can download all these files from the description link. So here we have House Plan Monochrome that I'll use as a sample. So I'll double click this and that's gonna open this file in PDF Agile software. Now, this software is my default software for PDF files and hence it will directly open in this software but just in case you are using Adobe Reader or anything else for reading your PDF files then you can open the software PDF Agile go to file select open and open your PDF file in it now I have the PDF file open here I'll simply go to this convert tab and here you just need to select the output format now before i convert it into cat format i also want to highlight that we have several other format options that you can actually convert it to that includes ppt txt excel word and so on now in this case we are interested in this pdf to cad so simply select pdf to cad and here we are now we have this house plan monochrome selected here all you need to do is select an output format. So right now I'm selecting DWG, but you can of course select DXF if you want that format. But in this case, I'll keep DWG selected. Also, you need to specify the output location. So I'll just select original folder and that's going to just create output in the same folder where we have the original PDF. So with that, I'll click on start conversion. And here we are, this is done. Now open this file and that's gonna open it in your default DWG software in my case it's autocad so i'll simply click this button continue opening dwg file as this file is not created with autocad autocad will show you this prompt but that's totally fine simply click here and the file is open now apparently it's blank and that's not because it has no information it's because currently in this view we don't have anything so simply double click your middle mouse wheel and that will bring everything in your drawing view. And here we have it. So with just one single click, we managed to convert our PDF into actual DWG file. And not only that, this DWG is completely readable, which means you can actually snap to all these points. So let me show you. So I'll type DI short for distance, press enter. Now I'll click on this point and as you can see, this snaps here. It will snap here and all the other points are also recognizable. So it can just snap to these points and you can measure the distance and other things. Now, one of the biggest problem with this kind of PDF file is its scale. Right now, this drawing is not at all scaled. So you just need to scale it up. Now, for scaling this drawing, you need to use the scale command. But before we do that, I'll change the unit. As you can see, we are using architectural unit. So simply I'll type UN, short for unit. And here I'll change the unit to architectural. Precision is, well, just half of an inch is quite sufficient for this drawing. So I'll leave the precision to half of an inch and the insertion is scaled to inches. And okay. All right, so after doing that, we can scale it up. So, or down, depending on the size of this drawing. So I'll go to scale tool, select this thing entirely and press enter. Now simply use any one of the references here. So I think we can use 15 feet 5 inch as one of the reference. So that length from this point to this is 15 feet 5 inch. So let's use it as a reference. So I'll click this point and that's my base. Now I'll click on reference option from command line and I'll specify that reference length. So that's from this point to this. All right, now how long this length should be? Well, the answer is 15 feet 5 inch. So let's type 15 feet 5 inch, enter. Now the size will reset for entire plan and with that all the dimensions are now true. So if you want to check other dimensions 
well you can do that so i'll type di for distance and now as you can see this is 12 feet 4 inch so let's check it from this point to this and that's 12 feet 4 inch so with that scaling now everything is properly scaled up and the dimensions are correct now another important thing related to this pdf to dwg conversion is the conversion of texts in this case PDF Agile will take care of text conversion and if you now hover your cursor over the text in your drawing, even this vertical kind of text, you'll notice that this is properly converted into M text. So you can basically double click and that's going to take you to the M text command with this text editor and you can make changes inside this text area. So you don't need to convert the texts. Now, there are few drawbacks as well. Well, the first one is dimension. It won't recognize the dimensions. And these things are still recognized as simple lines and polylines that you may need to delete and start over again. But you have the dimensions right. So you can just delete it all and add the dimensions and you need not worry about the actual size of the drawing as we've already scaled it up. So it is allowing you to start from this entire floor plan and you don't need to start from scratch or you just don't need to import your PDF and just draw over it as an overlay. So that's how you can import it. Now another thing is converting the DWG file into PDF. Now why would you want to convert a DWG into PDF? using a third-party software if AutoCAD can do it. Well, AutoCAD is installed here and I can access it, but it's possible that you have sent file to someone who has no access to AutoCAD or any other DWG software whatsoever, and they still want to see the data inside that file. Now, in that case, they can use PDF Agile to convert the DWG file into PDF, and then they can see the data inside. Now, let me show you how that works. And to do that, I'll simply select one of the files here. So as you can see, we have this office plan. I'm not gonna open this file and instead I'll convert it into a PDF and then we'll see the data inside this office plan using that PDF file. So let's go to this PDF Agile software and well, let's just cancel this and go to the main software here. And here we have an option called CAD to PDF. So just select this CAD to PDF and now select the file. So I'll go to click here and select the file. So I'll go to desktop select the folder and I'll select office plan and open. There we are. Now it's open. Here's the file size. Simply click on start. And of course you can select the options here like conversion format. That's definitely PDF. You can select the background color, which is set to white. You can make it black if you want. And also you can select the destination folder. I'll just keep the default option selected. And with that, I'll select start conversion and it is done. So now we'll click this open file option and that's going to open it. And here it is. Now the file is open inside this PDF Agile software. So you don't even need to open the DWG file. Now, another thing is this, this file will fit properly inside the window. So basically PDF Agile will convert your DWG into PDF, assuming your file fits inside the window. What I mean is this, if you open the actual DWG file, which is this one, well, it looks like this. So it's not going to export this file. Instead, if you double click your middle mouse wheel, it's going to fit it. And that's the view which PDF Agile will export. So it will fit your drawing in the view. And then that part or that area will be exported. Now, finally, let's talk about encrypting our PDF file and sending it as password protected file. Now, this is something which you can do if you want to protect your drawing files. So once you've created PDF and let's say you just want to password protect it, well, that's also very easy. Simply go to one of the PDFs from this list. And in this case, I'll simply go to this Office Monochrome. That's the file which I want to password protect. So there we are. And I'll also close all the other tabs that we have here. Now, I want to just password protect this. And for that, go to Protect tab and select Encrypt. Now you can give it a password. Now, of course, you need to select a really good password for this, but I'm just selecting very easy password just for this demo, which is one, two, three, four. All right, and just click OK. The file is encrypted and saved. Now let's see how it's going to work. So let's just close it. And here we are. We have got the Office Monochrome file. Double click. And here we are. Now the file won't open without a password. You just need to enter it. So let's type one, two, three, four, five, six, which is of course a wrong password. Click open and that's not gonna work. Now let's try the correct password, one, two, three, four, open, and here we are. So now your files are also password protected and you can share the password separately with your clients 
in email, Slack, or whatever the method you use for communication. So that's how you can convert a PDF into DWG, a DWG file into PDF, and also you can password protect your PDF files using PDF Agile. If you have questions, feel free to share it in the comments area down below, and I'll see you soon with another video.